Hi, I'm Mr. Tripp. Today I'm going to be explaining sound, frequencies, pitch, and amplitude. And to better explain this, I'm going to be using tuning forks. Tuning forks are sound resonators that have a U-shaped pattern, and when they are struck, they create the same constant pitch. Now, sound is vibration of particles, and to prove this, I'll strike the tuning fork, and you can see that it's vibrating. To further explain this, I'll strike it again and put it in some water, and you can see that the vibration causes the water to move. Now, uh, tuning forks are, are determined by, by their pitch, by the length of the rod. This one has a higher pitch, and this one has a lower pitch. See that they are different sizes. Now, pitch and frequency are very close, but, but different. Pitch is the highness and lowness of a sound, and frequency is the number of vibrations per given time, typically in seconds. Now, amplitude is a little different, so this will always play the same frequency and the same pitch, but I can change the amplitude by how hard I strike it. Let me show you. The harder I strike it, the louder it gets. The amplitude can change from this. Now to further explain this, I'm going to use a sound whistle. The sound whistle is the same as a regular whistle, except the chamber can change. The chamber is what makes the frequency change. It makes a high, high pitch or low pitch. So you can see here. Now I'm using a program called Audacity, and I'm going to show you how uh, the force that I use to play the instrument is going to determine the amplitude of the sound. I'm not going to change the frequency of the sound, but only the, the loudness or the amplitude. So you can see from the three wave heights that the first one has a lower height, the second one has a little higher, and the last one has the highest height. The, the last one has the highest amplitude, the loudest sound. The first one has the lowest amplitude and the lowest sound. Now I'm going to show you how when the frequency changes, the pitch changes. <laughs> Now I'm going to change this to a different audio track. It's going to, I'm going to show you the spectrum of the way it is. As you can see as it starts, I started out as a high note. The frequency was high. Then the frequency dropped. And then at the end, the frequency increased again. And therefore, the pitch went from high to low, back to high. I want to show you. They're called boom whackers. They're long, clear plastic tubes. Same diameter, but different lengths. The long one makes this sound. And the short one makes this sound. My challenge to you is to figure out why the longer one has a lower pitch than the shorter one. 